Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Psalm 69, verse 33, and it reads, The Lord listens to needy people. He does not despise his own who are in prison. Wait a second. Does, does anything sound odd about that verse? The Lord listens to needy people. Okay, that sounds pretty normal. It sounds okay. He does not despise his own who are in prison. Wait a second. He doesn't despise his own who are in prison? I mean, I thought that if you were a believer in God and you were a follower of Messiah Yeshua, that life would be a cakewalk and everything would come up roses and, and you know, nothing would go wrong. What's this about, you know, not despising his own who are in prison? Okay, <laughs> first thing wrong with what I just said is that there's nowhere in Scripture where God promises that it's going to be a cakewalk and everything is going to come up roses. He doesn't promise us a good life here. He doesn't promise that everything is going to be all right. And sometimes as believers, when we're witnessing to other people, we give them the false impression that if they just accept Jesus, that if they just accept Yeshua, that everything's going to be all right. Now, God through Yeshua will help you through your difficulties and your problems and your trials and tribulations, whether physically, mentally, or spiritually, or what have you. But he never promises that everything is going to be uh, honky-dory. Why? Because we live in a fallen world. We live in a world that is rebelled against God. There are uh, brothers and sisters uh, all around the world in Islamic extremist countries, you know, Afghanistan and Pakistan and, and uh, um, you know, the Middle East, Iran, Iraq and Indonesia. There's uh, believers in communist countries or atheistic countries such as China and North Korea uh, and places like these who – where Christianity, where believing in God and, and reading the Bible and, and giving your life to Messiah Yeshua is illegal. You are breaking the law. You are considered a traitor to your people, to your country, and therefore you are imprisoned. So where's God? Where's the fairness? Where's the justice in that? Well, you know what? These communist, atheistic in Islamic countries need evangelization too. These very countries won't allow missionaries, so they depend upon believers. And you know what? People in prison need evangelized. They need to know about God. Uh, the guards, the wardens, the government officials. So sometimes he allows believers to go to jail and yes, even suffer persecution, even suffer torture, even su suffer martyrdom, death because of his name. Jesus himself told his disciples, look, whatever they do to me, they're going to do to you. You know, a, a student and a servant isn't above his teacher or master. What they did to me, they're going to do to you too. And what did they do to Yeshua? They mocked him, they beat him, and they nailed him to a cross. You know, and, and in the Psalms, there's another part of the Psalms where it says, precious in the sight of the Lord are the death of his saints. So it says, the Lord listens to, the, to needy people. He does not despise his own who are in prison. And you know what? The Lord may have them in, in there for a short time as a witness, or he may ha allow them to be martyred. So to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So they're far better off if they're martyred. But yet that martyrdom and dying with bravery and fearlessness and a witness and a song of praise on their lips uh, strengthens the believers that are left behind. But it also leaves a witness to those who, who, who did them in. And, you know, we have the power and the ability to change things. There was a woman who was accused of uh, blasphemy in Pakistan, and that was sentenced to death. But because of the public outcry against it and, and Christians and believers writing letters to the, to the governments and, and just making this a worldwide issue, they reversed their uh, verdict and she was set free. Well, that really ticked the people off and now she's being shifted uh, from safe house to safe house because of the mobs and they want vigilante justice. But we can make a difference in the lives of believers who are persecuted and in prison if we if we write to them to encourage them and write to their governments and you know demand justice and uh, so we have a role to play we have a part to play that can change this the lord listens to needy people he does not despise his own who are in prison so you know everybody who is in prison isn't guilty <laughs> necessarily i know a lot of people claim they are but uh, some of them are not. So let's remember our brothers and sisters who are in prison and persecuted and tortured 
as a result uh, for the cause of Christ because they believe in Yeshua the Messiah and, and the God of Israel and uh, cling to his word. And let's pray for them today. Thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to our social media accounts on Instagram at AD underscore international, on Facebook at Abraham's Descendants International, on Twitter at ADINT Ministries, and on Blogger at Ray Bash's Ramblings. And don't forget to check out and bookmark our website, abrahamsdescendants.com. Shalom.